I was at a sports bar watching a basketball game and got to thinking about jumping physics. I am going to go over how to solve a problem that has all the givens and solve for each variable using only one of the givens. So a person jumps up to a height of 0.711 meters. This is the average height of a basketball player's jump, which is 28 inches in imperial if you're like me and think an imperial. The person has a takeoff velocity of 3.73 meters per second and a total hang time of 0.762 seconds. So now we're going to solve the problem as if we only have height, takeoff velocity, and hang time. We will be using two equations to solve for all of the variables. Velocity equals acceleration times time plus velocity and position equals one half acceleration times time to the second power plus velocity times time. The things you'll need to understand to complete the problem like this is that the time to reach the peak is the same as the time to fall back down from the peak. Also that the initial takeoff velocity equals the same as the final landing velocity. I'd like to also note that we'll be ignoring air resistance when we're solving this problem. So let's first solve the problem as if we only have the height of 0.711 meters. So to find the time we'll use the position formula and act as if we are solving for how long it'll take the basketball player to fall down from the peak. This means that the initial velocity is zero, so it will be left out of the equation. So the equation will be one-half gravity times time to the second power equals height. After plugging in our numbers and rearranging the formula using algebra, we get 0.381 seconds for the time to fall down from the peak or the time to reach the peak from initial position. To get the total hang time, we must multiply the number by two to get 0.762 seconds as our total hang time. Now recall, as I stated earlier, velocity initial equals velocity final. So to solve for velocity, we will be solving it as if the basketball player is falling from the peak down. Now to find the velocity, we can use the equation velocity equals gravity times time and plug in the time to, for the falling down of 0.381 seconds. And this equals 3.73 meters per second as both for our velocity initial and velocity final. Now let's solve the problem as if we only have the takeoff velocity. Once again, recall that velocity initial equals velocity final. So we will solve for the time it takes to hit the ground from the peak. We can use the formula velocity equals gravity times time, and there is no initial velocity due to the velocity being zero at the peak. After plugging in our numbers and rearranging the formula, we get the time to fall to equal 0.381 seconds. To get the total hang time, we can multiply this number by two to get a hang time of 0.762 seconds. Let's now solve for the height. We will use the position formula of one half gravity times time squared plus velocity times time. Once again, we plug in all of our numbers and we get a height of 0.711 meters. Finally, let's solve the problem as if we are only given the hang time. To solve for velocity, we can plug our numbers into the velocity formula and treat it as if we are falling from the peak. So we will be solving for the velocity at landing. The formula gravity times hang time over 2 will get us our velocity of 3.73 meters per second. Let's now solve for the height. We will use the position formula of 1 half gravity times time squared plus velocity times time. Once again, we will plug our numbers in and we will get a height of 0.711 meters. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.